Hey there. Yep, here we are. Um, after trashing them for the last few weeks, well, to be fair, we've been giving them their dues when they're doing right, the right thing as well. Here I sit with a uh, huge shipment from CGC. Uh, yeah, this was a, a surprise uh, of some sort. These were the books that I dropped off at San Diego Comic-Con at the end of July. They were received the following Monday at Sarasota, and here we are uh, on August 10th, and I've got them back. The only thing I have not gotten back yet is my Fast Track Economy submission, which is uh, in grading right now. So those should be graded and shipped by the end of the week. So less than a three week turnaround for this. That's pretty crazy. Um, two of these boxes are standard. They're not even fast track modern or anything like that. Uh, some of these are books that I pressed for my uh, good buddy Ryan, who is the owner of Pulp Fiction, a fantastic comic book store here in Long Beach, California, and also my LCS. So when I get to those books, they are available from Ryan at Pulp Fiction, Long Beach. I will have a link to his Instagram in the description and you can DM him there and you guys can work that out. You know, that's none of my business, but I will show off some books and I will also show some of my PC stuff that came back. So. Let's rip open that first box. <laughs> All right, so the first book we have back is uh, one of my books. And hey, it is Amazing Spider-Man 194, First Black Cat. And it is a 9.8 off-white to white pager. Uh, with that Spider-Man custom label. I'm very happy with this. It's also a newsstand edition, which, you know, uh, most of the majority of this book are newsstands because the direct market had just started. So, you know, while it's exciting, it's a newsstand 9.8. Um, they're not incredibly scarce, but there it is. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 194, 9.8, off white to white pages. Probably coming to a live sale near you from me and Richard. We'll see. Uh, the next book is one of Ryan's books. So if you want this, please hit up Ryan at Pulp Fiction Long Beach on Instagram in the description. It is good old Miles, Ultimate Fallout 4, 9.6 white pager with the Miles label. Yeah, close. Close. Um, I'm actually happy it's a 9.6. I had this as a 9.4, 9.6, with an outside chance of a 9.8, but they're tough on this book. I think you guys probably know from sending and submitting this in, they're pretty brutal when it comes to Ultimate Fallout 4s. Um, probably not as brutal as they should be when they have an acetate cover and two extra staples added to them, but that's a whole other conversation that we can have on next week's show if we really want to have it. Let's open up the next box. Ugh. All right, this is an express submission. So these were expensive books that uh, didn't qualify for the other tiers. The first one is another book of Ryan's. It is NYX number three, first X23, 9.8, white pager. That is really cool. Um, Ryan gave this to me to press for him. Somebody had pressed it for him prior to that and there was a little dimple where there was a piece of dirt or something uh, on the book when it was pressed, so it had a little divot in there, and I was able to get that divot out, and divot it, I was able to get that divot out and get Ryan a 9.8, so hit him up if you want this one. The next one is from the PC. I'm happy, not overly excited, but it is my astonishing number three, uh, Marvel Boy, um, off-white to white pages, 5.0. I did not buy this as a 5.0. Uh, it was sold to me as an 8.0. I was excited when I first got it. It structurally is an 8.0. However, there is a big stain right here that was not disclosed to me when I bought it. 
and it goes through the front cover and there's also a stain here on the top of the back cover. Now, am I gonna ask for a partial refund? I might. Uh, the person I bought it from, who I don't wanna, I don't wanna put him on blast because he's a good guy and he does a lot of volume so he may have missed it. He's been good in the past uh, with working with me on things like that, so I'm gonna reach out to him. But, um, you know, it, it's nice. It looks a lot nicer than a 5.0, but it is what it is. That one's going in the PC, of course. Before I go for any further, this is new. On my invoice, there is this little green stamp here that I've never seen before and it says inspected by Comics QC number four. Wow, that's, so the quality control now is responsible for stamping the invoice and putting their number on it. So if you have a complaint, I guess you can say, hey, number four is the one that looked at my books. That's new. It's almost like when you buy a pair of underwear and it's like inspected by number 56. Here is another one for the PC that I'm really happy with. It is Captain America Comics, number 78. Creamed off-white pages, 3.5. This was sold to me by the same seller that I got the Astonishing 3 from. He had it at a 3.0. I pressed it, and did my thing with it, cleaned it, and I bumped it up to a 3.5. Uh, I didn't think it was gonna be any more than that. Um, I just, I have that OCD that if I don't press it before I submit it, then I feel like I'm leaving something on the table. So really happy with this. Um, need uh, two more, of course, 76 and 77 to get that full cap 50s run, but happy, very happy. Another PC book. This is the last express tier book that I sent that I pressed for Ryan. Look at that. The Crow, number one, off-white to white pager, 9.6. Oh man, that was so close. Um, I thought there were, might be, have been an outside chance it was gonna get a 9.8, but it is what it is. Still super happy and excited that it's a 9.6. If you're looking for a Crow, number one, Ryan at Pulp Fiction in Long Beach is your man. Again, uh, his contact info is in the description below. Oh, so close. All right, let's open this last box. What do you say? Okay, so these are books that are probably gonna end up in a live sale coming up soon. Uh, the first one is Werewolf by Night, number one, 9.8 white pager. It is what it is. Happy that it got a 9.8. I don't feel any particular love or affinity for this book. I just got it for cover price uh, two years ago, got it slabbed and off to the races. Meanwhile, here is Werewolf by Night number one, the variant cover, a 9.8 white pager. I just, this one's really cool. It's a great design. It's a very cool cover. And this will also be in one of our live sales coming up soon. And this is probably the last book that we're going to be selling in the live sale. And it is Dr. Afra, number one, 9.8 white pager, but this is the Diamond Retailer Summit variant. Uh, if you are a retailer and you went to the Diamond Retailer Summit, you got a copy of this. That's why it has that different back cover. It's got the white logo instead of the regular color logo. And I will be selling this in a live sale coming up soon. Okay, these last three are not my books. They're not Ryan's books. These are actually my husband Raphael's books. He asked me to slab some books for him for the first time. This first one, Richard bought for him uh, at a convention in Ohio. It is Sailor Moon number one. Look at that. Uh, it is a 9.4 white pager, beautiful. You know, um, I, I didn't think it was gonna be more than a 9.4. I had to break the news to Raphael before I sent it in to be slabbed. Uh, it had a pretty gnarly bend in the back cover that I was able to press out, but it's still, it still knocked it down, I think, to a 9.4, but better than nothing. And Raphael also got Sailor Moon number three, a 9.6 white pager. 
man, I, I thought that one was going to be a 9.8. Um, it has a really tough black back cover, as you can see here. But if you guys have ever tried to get a Sailor Moon run, these are tough books, man, and they're really in demand. I had no idea until Raphael introduced me uh, to that whole thing that uh, this, you know, late 90s, early 2000s Sailor Moon run from Mix Entertainment, Viz Comics is tough. We've been looking for a while to get a full run, but this is uh, number three. And finally, last but not least, Raphael also has a Sailor Moon number four, nine six white pager. Tough to get this, uh, tough to get nine eights out of these, I guess. Um, but we're happy with the grades, and uh, those are going into his PC. They're not going to be for sale. So, congrats to Raphael. Uh, again, if you want to see some of those other keys uh, from Ryan at Pulp Fiction Long Beach, check the description below. The other ones will be in an upcoming live sale from Bronze and Modern Gods, except for the Cap and the Astonishing. Uh, those are going in my personal collection. So uh, we will see you later on this week. Hope you enjoyed this. Catch you later.